Hello everybody and welcome, this is ZDS here, and welcome to the finale of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. Okay. So as I mentioned last video, I did a little bit of preparation. <sighs> Went through PKX and did a little bit of alteration. Obviously I put Gardevoir at level 70. I also uh, gave a competitive, quote unquote, and moveset and stat spread to Rayquaza, gave it a naive nature to give it higher speed since its attacking stats are both ridiculously high anyway. Uh, Kyogre gave a modest nature, Surf, Thunder, Ice Beam, and Hidden Power Grass. For Groudon, I gave it a naughty nature, gave it max and attack, and then split the rest between special and speed. Uh, gave it Flamethrower, Earthquake, Ancient Power, and Solar Beam. For Lugia, I gave it a modest nature, gave it Psychic, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump. And finally, for ho -Oh, I gave it Flamethrower, Earthquake, Air Release, and Shadow Ball with an adamant nature, with Eevee's split max and attack, and the rest split between special attack and speed. So, for the final trainer battle of this Let's Play, I'm going to try my best to restrict myself from actually using the damn speed up function during the battle. First, I need to get a fucking repel on. Uh, oh wait. Don't I need something with Waterfall? Shit. I think I need something with Waterfall. Okay, uh, we'll do this then. Um, yeah, I've already got Surf on Kyogre, so I'll just give it Waterfall too. Hidden Power Grass, I don't actually, actually, hold on. No, I'll, I'll give Waterfall to Lugia since she already has a, a Water type move and Hydro Pump, so might as well give it Waterfall too. Anyway, let me kind of get up to the mountain first. I don't, I don't think I battled that guy, so I'm going to walk away from him. All right. So in Meteor Falls, in the deepest part of Meteor Falls, uh, there is a particular trainer that we now have the ability to fight. Technically, we had the ability to fight him from the offset when we first got done. Uh, but I saved him for the last battle, uh, for the finale, because I really like to have him as the last thing we do. Um, now as far as how to get to his little cave, I believe it's this way, and in here. Yes. Alrighty. And we will see here at the very back, Mr. Steven Stone. Oh, wow, Kevin. Amazing, you know where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me just as a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at the Metropolis Space Center. You have a very good idea about how good I am. Okay, Kevin, if you're gonna mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Challenger, the previous champion, Steven Stone. His team are all in the mid to high 70s. So make sure you bring your A-game because this guy can fuck you up. He specializes primarily in steel and rock type Pokemon. Uh, he's, his team consists of Skarmory, Playdol, Armaldo, Cradley, Agron, and Metagross. Cradley, I'm definitely not keeping her out there. Uh, Cradley is a rock and grass type, so his weaknesses are fighting, steel, and ice type moves. I have none of these on anything. I guess I'll go for Broke here and just go for Rayquaza. If I go for Ho-Oh, he'll probably just use Rock Slide and kill her in one shot. Uh, shit. I don't know how well that's going to do. Probably a quarter damage. And not much higher than that. Steven is definitely the final answer when it comes to the uh, strongest trainer in the game. He is obviously stronger than Wallace and every other trainer who we have fought before. Which is kind of why I always recommend leaving him for the finale. I mean, he is... He's the kind of strong that really begs to be a finale boss and, like, 
end your adventure when you beat him, you know? I decided to go with legendaries instead of my main team, uh, besides Gardevoir, because favorite Pokemon, duh, of course she's gonna get top villain. Uh, all right. Mostly because I just wanted to overbreak everything. With Kyogre and its Drizzle ability, Summoning the Rain, which doubles the power of Water-type moves. Already having a stab bonus on Water-type moves, with being a Water-type. This is what I was getting at before with the fact that Kyogre's water or weather affecting ability benefits it far greater than uh, Rayquaza's or Groudon's do because it actually makes its fucking moves way more powerful than they normally would be. Alright, Aggron. I know I don't have to do it, but I am switching out for each uh, Pokemon that he uses. I just think it gives a better uh, sense of flow, I guess. And then Groudon Drought summons the sun. The power of the sun. I believe his Aggron is more of a special attacker, too, of all things. Then again, I've done that myself in previous uh, playthroughs, so I guess I shouldn't be too critical. <sighs> Groudon's monstrous 150 base attack plus Earthquake, which is Stab, plus a four times weakness to ground moves. I don't care how high your defense is, you're not living for that. Alright, Armaldo's next. And that's going to be a tricky one because I have to use Lugia if I'm going to keep going with this motif. So it's going to take two Psychics to kill it, most likely. Thankfully, Lugia is the most bulky out of my Pokémon that I currently have, so... It's not strong enough to know... or high enough level to know Aeroblast, so I didn't give it Aeroblast. Ancient Power will do a good chunk of damage, but probably won't cut me in half. Yep. Armaldo has a great attack stat of 125. So it definitely hits pretty fucking hard for a fossil Pokemon. Which are generally considered not to be very strong. And finally, his Metagross. And the sun's already up, so hello it is. Bring the flames! Hello is also not high enough level to know Sacred Fire, so I'm going to be relying on Flamethrower instead. And with the Sun's Rays, that will make this an easy kill. And holy shit, did we finally manage to have a battle where I didn't use the speed-up function? I think we did. Alrighty then! Player defeated Steven. I had no idea you became so strong. Well, I beat the champion, I mean, come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed in Granite Cave and Buford, I had this feeling. I thought that you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. Well, ain't that fucking a bit of a wank for you, isn't it? Where will you go from here? Even I couldn't tell you that. So yeah, that's all he says. I mean, that's kind of the end of it. Uh, I was hoping for something more climactic, but... This ain't like taking on red at the top of Mount Silver, okay? Now, where's my escape rope? Do I have any left? Yes, I have one left. I'll use it. And I might as well just manually trek back somewhere. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna end this Let's Play where it began. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Ara Rayquaza fly. Just so I can fly back. To... Uh, come on. Right here, a little root town. Alrighty. Oh, also, real quick, you can also get the amulet coin by talking to your mother after you defeat the certain gems. Uh, whatever. Anyway, that's not what's important. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Let's go ahead and take a nap. Alrighty. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. And uh, hopefully, you guys got a kick out of the entirety of the Let's Play. Hope you guys followed along all the way through. Um, definitely one of my favorite games to play. I absolutely adore Emerald with every fiber of my being, and I can't get enough of this game. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my rage here and there, and and all all that kind of stuff. So, uh, at the time of this recording, I don't know when what the next Let's Play is going to be. I'm going to wait until, uh, because Super Metroid, I still haven't released that yet at the time of this recording, and Emerald is just getting finished now. 
and there's a bunch of other separate videos I want to do. So basically, the whole first half of the year is going to be crowded with videos. I hope you guys tune in. Uh, for those of you who just started watching uh, through this Let's Play, hope you guys hit the subscribe button, uh, like the videos and all that stuff, and I uh, hope, hope to see you guys for more. So thank you so much for watching. This has been ZDS, making YouTube for fun one video at a time. And uh, I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. So have a good night, everybody. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.